What did you have for dinner? I had Greg's mate. Yeah, <laughs> reminds me. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Blog on the Tyne used to be ran by Lee Ryder back in the day. Replied to a gif that I put on Twitter of, oops, oh. of... Uh, of him sitting there on his phone doing his Twitter. And that blog replied with a crying laughter face. Fat shame and joke. <laughs> it's shocking. <laughs> that's <It's> shocking. <laughs> that, something on the lines of, that's me waiting for you in Greg's. And I'm thinking, if that's Ryder, I thought that was a live feed of him buying all his fucking Twitter followers. As we'll prove here. <laughs> <laughs> Quote, fakedtaxi.com, this is becoming quite the regular fucking occurrence, isn't it? Welcome to NUFC fans. You dirty fans slut. Forum. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, I'm joined by Simon <laughs> and uh, Greg's loyalty card holder, Ross Twiddell. And we've got... I'd just like to clarify. Baguette, chicken mayonnaise, sausage and bead melt, LucasAid, and we're out. Steak and cheese roll, Mexican oval bite, LucasAid zero. Tory. Whoa, why? Me- Mexican oval bite? It's just a chicken sandwich, but with a bit of spice in it. Simon? I have plain cheese and ham baguette. Cause, cause I'm, How many? I'm <laughs> cosmopolitan <laughs> fucking loads of them. <laughs> cosmopolitan. Yeah, as you can tell by the introduction, we've got so much NUFC goings on to talk about. Uh, Ross, were you there on Sunday? No. Me I, and Simon I, were. Were you? Yeah, yep, not but, together, but we so were there. Did you in the box again? No. Actually, I wasn't there. I was watching it on the, le- on, on the old phone. Oh, was it the live stream? Oh, I, yeah, I, I had, nice I had the stream on in I mean, the background. I watched some of it because it didn't all work. Well, I it was watched, a good idea. I watched all of it. And the first half hour was absolutely brilliant. They looked high energy, full of running. That particular man, Kilo, lad, he looks like... If we didn't know about him from last season, I'd say he looked like a brilliant pickup. I got a couple of texts in that he was good. I, I thought, thought he was all right, yeah. He's really on the same wavelength as Richie. Well, the, judging by when they played these half, an hour. these half an hours against this... Italian. The Roman Empire. Shit is what the word. Do you see that tweet? The lad <laughs> behind did, yes. it said. Go on for the for he the goes, boys and girls at home. They, they've fallen over a couple of times. He's having a roll around. He went, "Can I believe?" It wasn't a match. <laughs> I can I believe this lot used to be the backbone of the fucking Roman Empire? Like absolutely pathetic. And I thought, you know what? As hot takes go, that's actually pretty good. It is geographically um, incorrect, but really, well, Verona wasn't a big. Roman. Here we so go. Let's not talk about go. this. This Here is boring. The, the bottom graduate. line is, when we're doing laps in England around the pitch for a warm-up, they're dressed in tunics fighting tigers. Exactly. <laughs> that's, that's exactly what they're doing. I thought you said you didn't see it. <laughs> uh, the game was good. Uh, I thought, we look, we should have won about 5 or 6 nil. Well, it wasn't a test. No. Which is that a worry for you guys? That we've basically, The Wolfsburg game was allegedly a test and we took the piss there. Yeah. We've not really had a big game in pre... I know Mans were lost, but it wasn't exactly high energy or anything like that. We haven't really had... Not, not to reference our local neighbours or anything, but we haven't had a, a big 5-0 slap in the face to really no. show us what the league's going to entail. Of a year. Scottish reserve team. Of a Scottish reserve team, no less. You want a bit, bit more of a fight for the last game before the season starts, don't you? Cause so we, we haven't done that for, for years, though. Coasted for... At least an hour. Aye. We always, we all, if we get like a, it's always a recognisable brand name, team. <laughs> Kappa. Uh, aye, but it's never like Juventus or anybody like hasn't that. Been for a lo- we haven't done a glamour friendly, I don't think, for the a, problem a is that number of years. All of those glamour clubs want a glamour friendly as the last game. And we, we are, are not, well, they're all part of the tournaments, aren't they, which you yeah. have to pay to get in. We haven't done the Newcastle Gates Head Cup for over 10 years now. That was that good. how long ago that, that was? That was good. Was it Old Rangers? Sport, Rangers, Sport, Sport and Lisbon. Lisbon. Rangers came down and uh, pissed all over the city, just in in doorways. I remember it being awful. Oh, that must have really offended us a lot. It did offend me. We don't ever urinate in public. No. You especially I never don't do. ever do any bodily functions around other people. I don't, do you, Simon? I don't know. It was an extra 10 minutes to get in here today because he dropped his lunch hours off. That's disgusting. I pissed in the town on Friday. Did on... you? Oh, no, the you ones on the put back. On Fucking sex offenders list for that, you know. It was, it was be, what? You I'd do have, I'd have, I'd have pissed it's, off. It's <laughs> public indecency. I don't mean. It's the same it list. Was how, it was how he was doing the time when he was. <laughs> <laughs> that was a very spelt, generous. Spelt me, <laughs> spelt me name on the wall. Bit of art, bit of deco, bit of Banksy. Bit of Banksy. Uh, it well, is. We were talking about football. Um, <laughs> no glamour friendly. No real test in preseason. Spurs in but a few days. Concerned, or is it just do none of them matter anyway because they're all just run out? They might be half a percent less fit than they would have been if they had a test. Do you not think it's too big? In- I no. actually think they look really fit. I think that was the one thing that yeah, you could take they from that did. game. They the high really pressure lively. Right at the end of the game was like the fullback. Even Dummett, I know you 
you can't reach me from where you stood, so I'm going to say it. <laughs> Don't admit, I thought I've never seen him play that high up in his life. No, actually, I, as soon as I started watching it, I thought he looks he looks quite trim. Like he's, he was never a, a big lad, but he looks really the black, trim. sexy kit man. Yeah, I suppose. Black black kit, Although I thought that last game, was, I thought last game, Dumb as well. Maybe I fancy him. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe that's what this all boils down to. Maybe. Unresolved sexual <laughs> desire for Paul Dummett. You're just lashing out at him. No, I think a lot of them do. Actually, Mitrovic looks... He does, He looks like he's slimmed down quite a lot. Shelby even looks in much better, Nick. Yes. Oh, he looks lovely, him, doesn't he? He does. He's not He's not an <laughs> attractive man, but... <laughs> we look good. We should have won considerably bigger margin than we did. Um, Gale will be back for Spurs, apparently. Rafa said he should be available in some capacity, which is good news. But if not... Who you, would you go, Mitrovic or Perez? They both had a bit of a run out up front. Mitrovic mainly. Perez has said he's happy to play there if he needs, if we need him. To, I would, which is good of him. I would, it, considering CM De Jong is probably going to be fit, Touchwood, Ish. I would probably play Perez, right, with him behind. Just, yeah. just because I'm a sentimental man. You are a sentimental. Man. The last time we played Tottenham Hotspurs, Iosi. Mitro Iosi. scored twice, didn't he? He did. And got I'm, sent off. Iosi. Scored. Forget about the sending off. <laughs> he scored twice, therefore, we're playing Mitro. I always scored the game before that. Did he not? An yeah. amazing goal, in fact. Well, we were one of the best Spurs, Spurs sides that's ever existed. The year we went down, we took six points. Off. Yeah. Nah. And then Villa took Didn't four off us. Villa took four off us. Um, so did Blackburn. Blackburn beat us twice last year, didn't they? Sheffield Wednesday beat us twice last year. Oh, oh you said four, didn't you? Yeah. yeah, six. Yeah, so, I mean... We're laughing that we've got the hoodoo over this lot and they're missing a couple of key players, but I could see us getting a pace. Well, we've got no right. They've got no right back, so Paul Dummett will be in his absolute yeah, element. Got a, got a double barreled name playing there. I, I, no, I don't know who he is, but I'm so it's all young players. Ben, Benoit Asuakoto. <laughs> he's, he's a point. He's a point. What a reference that was. Uh, Isn't he a porn star? He wanted to be. Yeah. Apparently, he, did he literally he say then he came out and said, "I hope no. my dick's not big enough." Yeah, because fucking Harry tried to sign him, didn't he? He was like, no, nah, no. Nah. Well, ben Wall wasn't like that. Ben Wall's like, no, no, no. He's a no, no. I am a punster. I do the pawn. No right. <laughs> yeah, so they've got no right back. There's, there's every possibility, got, as it stands right now, they're going to start Sissoko. Yeah. Because right. been oh, in the score. side. He'll score oh. a goal. God, can you imagine? Yeah. <laughs> and he won't celebrate because he'll be respecting her and we'll all be trying to he never put really celebrate really 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 thing. he always used to do used to put his shoulders <laughs> up didn't he do that he's just <laughs> that was... sorry can we see that again <laughs> is that <all? laughs> um, please try and get an image of that in I'll sentence. try and give that for everybody um, do we think we'll win and I honestly never think we'll win so it's I'm, the I'm best time to it. play Spurs because we are what we always used to, when we were, when we were an established Premier League team, we always used to get stung by the new team coming up. Now yeah, where we the did. New, now where the new team coming up? Some fifty thousand screaming Jardies. Yes. <laughs> oh, I'm a bit delirious. It's already you're already <laughs> stimulated. You <laughs> too many Gregs. That's right. <laughs> going right in your head. Um, aye, and hopefully we can have that little effect on Tottenham Hotspurs. I think. I mean, we've got every chance. That's it's home, isn't it? We're an unknown quality to them. They're missing a couple of players. But our run, our first couple of games aren't too bad after Spurs. Although we've got two of the other new promoted sides, I think. We've got Huddersfield, Huddersfield Swansea. Or we have West Ham. West Ham. Third game, I think. Brexit FC, which should be a nice little walk in the park for us. We could, we do stand a good chance of, you know, as long as we don't get a pace enough Spurs. I don't think we will. I think no matter, no matter who we play, we're going to have 11 men behind the ball most of the time. So this, the way we're setting up this season certainly looks like we do. Even against Verona's to an extent, we're happy to recycle the ball right to the like we'll get to the edge of the box. Nothing was on. We'll go right the way back to the yeah. centre box, and and then we'll just break. We are tuned in after sixty minutes on Saturday. And I was tearing me hair out because it was so lackadaisical. Yeah, well, and I flicked just, on Twitter and we're tuning up, and I was like, oh well, that's why. Yeah, but that does it, you do see it a lot with this Rafa Benitez man. Not say this Rafa Benitez team, but it's a, a newish it's a different team, one. Isn't it? Yeah. I no, you're right. You're, you're right. I don't think we'll ever get a chance to coast this season, like. But hey, you never know. People said that last time we came up, we'd be Villa six now. Did you see uh, Martin Hardy's just released a interview with Sky Sports talking about Rafa? Incidentally, no. He said that he's unhappy again, obviously, because it's it's oh, here that's we go. part of the cycle. Right. But he says he, he says specifically in that interview that Rafa expected that we could challenge for a top five place. If we had momentum, how old were horses? I just, I just think that's absolutely made up. Yeah. <laughs> if Rafa's saying that, he's there's met, something wrong well, with Rafa. 
If you're saying no, that, he's gone. The quote, he's the just... quote from last weekend was, I wanted a team that he was promised a team that would get him up. He got that. Mm-hmm. But what he's got now isn't what he was promised. Yeah. And all that's saying to me, he's not got as much money as he thought he was going to get. Yeah. The that thing doesn't I, say the, anything more than The that. thing I read was that they expected to spend about 60 to 70 million in the summer. And a lot of people think we still might do that. But there's still a month. But the problem is they weren't really expecting how inflated the market was going to be this yeah. time out. And obviously, Ashley being the shrewd businessman, thought, well, I'm not. Like, if, if I'm going to spend that much money, I'm not going to spend it yeah. when it's like this. So I think they're, they're thinking of waiting. They're expecting the prices will drop towards the end of the window because obviously everyone's going to start panicking and people are just going to start taking what they can get. So there's every chance we'll still spend a bit of money. But I that's think we will. I, do, I don't think it comes down to Ashley, though. I, I, I'm inclined to believe that he is just, what, like he says, he's not that involved. I think the problem is that Lee Chonley's terrified of Ashley, even if Ashley's not that involved. Mm-hmm. I think that he doesn't want to go and say 13 million for Lucas Perez because he thinks 13 million sounds too much. So, well, it is. But it lot. doesn't, in, in respect of. Everything else that's happening, but it all he's looking the market, at market. That's a good thing. thing. That's an excellent. I market. think. I think a lot of our own business is shot in the foot for this market. I think you it look has, at you look at the me. likes of Cabela and Mitro, and yeah, not so much Wine Alden because he was good at home. But then you look at how much they cost compared to Perez, yeah. Gale, and well, Gale, Gale was, was ten. But I think it, another respect to that is that they obviously were expecting to raise a lot more money in terms of sales, like freeing up a lot of the wage budget. And again, yeah. that is bad business from the past coming home. We're like offering Saive loads more money than he was worth and sticking Haidar on 25 grand a week. Yeah. All of a sudden, we're finding it really difficult to shift these players on because nobody's as daft as we are to give them that much money. So in regards to like bad business coming back to home, it's like two or threefold. Chickens, Mr. Ashley, coming home to roost. Aye. Is that the expression? It's, a, it's an expression. Yeah, mm-hmm. It kind of works. So it's ha- true. No, I, I fully agree with that, I. I don't think Saive or Saive or whatever has been given a fair run. Of the whip. Nope. But, but I think he must just go into train and just call Rafa names. Well, I think at this stage you're expecting... <laughs> yeah, big fat <laughs> Spanish. <laughs> that's you dropped. <laughs> you got an insider at the club. Yeah, that's a half, yeah. I yeah. couldn't imagine him saying that. Like, what? Who, Rafa? <laughs> no, I don't know. But something must be going on because he played well against Everton for... Half a game or whatever, and he got took off and scapegoated for yeah, the rest nah, of the game. Team. Was it the derby when he made his debut and he came on? The ball went straight under his foot. I remember that. Aye. That was it for Aye. me. What do you know? But he was you really, know how I like to make good snap every judgments game? and four do, seconds yeah. of footage. Well, yeah, let's let's talk about that snap judgment because he looked good. Flor- Florian. Still a danger. What I'm, what I'm saying, though. Florian danger. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> this Lejeune we're talking about. Aye. Hope, he's, he's mid 20s, isn't he? Yep. Yes. So the thing that like gets every football. The thing that gets me. Well, is filling me with hope, is that he knows when to do it and when not to do it. Because I am terrified that he'll know, he'll do it sometime when he doesn't he, have to do it. And he'll genuinely, give the ball I was away. surprised how quick he was again in the Verona game. There was a couple of recovery titles he made. Where, Swift for a big lad. Yeah, I saw him do a cross. He fucking wellied it. It went like flat. It was amazing. Oh, he played it. I can't remember who it was but for. He's still a danger. <laughs> he's still I think a it was dangerous for, man. I think it was for Atsu. Wait, what was he doing the right way? He got the he got <laughs> exactly, the ball back. Yeah, he got the ball point. back and like. So I was looking at near side with sort of Mankey and Richie. I was like, oh, feed it into them. And he just looked the other way and he just pinged this flat missile all the way across the pitch right now to his path. And I was like, shit, the bed, he's, he's not a bad player. Like, yeah. But can he do it on a cold, wet Tuesday night in Stoke? Well, the way things are going at the like minute, it'd be, it'd be a cold, wet, bloody Sunday afternoon in Newcastle. Yeah. August, my arse. Um, we went through starting 11s. For Spurs last week, has anything happened in the week since yes. you changed your mind? I, I was I, called an idiot because I said stuff. that Mankio would play, and not, yeah, he, and then Yedlin gets injured two days later. <laughs> Inside <laughs> knowledge. <laughs> Inside. All right. Yep. Fair enough. Uh, Ross. And I said, I think Atu's worked his way into my team because I would have started Murphy last I week. I wasn't impressed I, with Murphy on yeah. Sunday. Actually, he very came on. He's very wasteful with the ball. You could tell having a small part of play decided. Oh, is he wearing number seven? He is, yeah. He, is. he was not, very deep. They've not officially confirmed the squad numbers yet. I'd be raging <laughs> if Marino. It's this, it's this week? Tomorrow? No. I'd be raging Wednesday, if Marino's actually 33. What a waste of a talented young lad that is. I hate when they get shite squad number 33. It's in no man's land, isn't it? 33. You either want something lower or something geet higher. He's just trying to pay tribute to his Newcastle icon, Celestine Babayaro. Oh. God. I can't think of anyone. We were talking about this at the match. That's how dull it got it like halfway <laughs> through. It was like, anyone else won 33 that you Big can Big Daryl Murphy. Oh, God, I last year. Big Daz. 
Who else is Ward 33? That was all we could think of. Ward. People were like, Ward? Who else is Ward 33? Ward 33. <laughs> You're more <laughs> Huh? I said <laughs> Ward, didn't I? <laughs> you did. Watch it back. Um... Aye, anything else? You would, Marino's not any starting plans. You wouldn't have Murphy now. Well, the numbers. I don't I've, really see. Are you both Marino. happy with that two for starting? I, at the minute, yeah. I was. I wasn't fully focused on the game on Sunday, but I was impressed with what I saw. He's nice. d- he's dangerous, and that's that's all that matters. Nice I've always finish. said that he looks like Luar Luar, and uh, he does. But now he looks a little bit better. Rephrase than that, Luar Luar. please. Rephrase, you, yeah. rephrase <laughs> that. He plays. He reminds you. Yes. Of Luar Actually, Luar. what he looks like. Is Shola mixed with Sami Amiobi? I can't put their you. faces together. Stop talking, man. And you make Stop Atsu. Talking. But I look like. So this like is the final video of NFC. <laughs> 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 Thanks for joining us. <laughs> um, that's th- yeah. Do you think that was the starting eleven then? The Veronis team: Perez behind Mitrovic, no. Richie and Atsu, the Dubal pivot of Shelby and Hayden. I think yes. I think it was. Maybe it was, yeah. Oh, well, I, to be honest, that's the, that's uh, just looking at it purely logically. That's what you do now. Like Isaac, playing, he, Isaac Hayden, by the way. Look, oh, his tackle! That hit. Amen. I love him. He nearly he killed. Great. He nearly killed that lad. But but won the ball. He's a shade of panache away from beating Jimmy Perch. I knew you were going to say that. Shade of panache. <laughs> that you've ruined him now. Just a shade. He's got the big hits. He's got the endeavour. He's got the heart and the desire. He's got the number four. <laughs> he's got the number four. <laughs> None of those <laughs> things. Make him a good footballer. I'll just point out the fact that he's a good footballer. Make him a good footballer. Yeah, he's a good. You're, you've just described Gufram as well. I don't like me. No. I th- Industry. I endeavor, think he's, a, I think he's a lot better on the ball than Perch ever was. He plays with a crest in his chest, mate. I need to fucking get so this together, together, mate. All of them do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. Well, that's Spurs covered. No actual additions though, transfer wise. We need a bloody striker. Do you think? Do you expect we to get one before Spurs? Or I should fucking hope so. Well, I'll go down there myself and will you? Shake his Tell fist. him what for. <laughs> shake, shake his fist on the stadium. Got the checkbook. But if not Lucas Perez, then who? Who was that Stoke lad who got Hossel- linked with? Hosselu, who Hossel- scored Hossel- five, Hossel- aye. five goals in twenty apps according to Wikipedia last season. That's shocking. That. One of which was a a barn stonker in the uh, the Bernard Bauer. Really ba- well. What matter? What Bernabeu. is happening? The Bernabeu. The Bernabeu. Bernabeu. So I... Who for? Who was you playing for? Sociedad, was it? Oh, they loaned him out? Yes. yes. Stoke, at How no point, he? played Real Madrid last season. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't uh, I, I think, think, he's, in the, the I think he's about 25, something like that. Uh, is that he un- might be younger than that. Underwhelming, or is there something I there, mean, maybe? He, he, does, he seems to be a bit like Mitrovic, but I couldn't see Mitrovic scoring that screamer I watched on the tube the other day. The tube? <laughs> on the, so. How many goals did Mitrovic score last season? It was Eight more than nine. five, wasn't it? Yeah. Eight or nine. I wouldn't. I wouldn't get from Jocelyn. from not as many. I think his ratio of starts to goals is actually quite good. Mitrovic last season, but his ratio. Of uh, this goals is to this is not me defending Mitrovic by any means. I just, I just see think that bully folk me. Yeah, give him a bit of. Yeah. Aye, but he's got, he's got that target painted on him, hasn't he? If he starts bullying people, he just gets sent off. Because he's a tool, and he? he's taught, and he's he throws, to settle down. He throws rocks at trains. <laughs> oh God! Did you see that? Aye, I bet he missed half the fucking trains. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody mentioned that on Twitter, did they? <laughs> <laughs> did they? Oh, no, 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 every no, every that reply to that news story was, I bet he missed. <laughs> uh, I'd shan that. Mitrovic is class. I love Mitrovic. He's younger than Perez, man. Why do people not expect him to get better? No, oh, he's rubbish. He's been here two uh, years, but he's, he hasn't, he's, has he? He's more than 20, and if you're more than 20 and you're a striker and you don't score goals... They say that you're not going to ever score not goals. Not how it works. It's I like think coming to my goal, peak of 25, man. I will say to you, you're Jay, a goalkeeper. Jay Vardy. Aye, but he just took loads of them uh, performance but, enhancers. Uh, did, he, <laughs> did he now? <laughs> Allegedly. Right, okay. Allegedly. <laughs> I fully expected them to be uh, uncovered as human growth. Did you? Aye. They weren't bigger, Simon. They just no, I know. They're just good. All of a sudden, Jamie Vardy uh, goes from being five allegedly. foot to six foot nine. <laughs> Do you know in, s- in Space Jam? Like, like that. The, like the that. Steel is power. Like that. Exactly. The Storm Mitrovic's powers. The Storm Mitrovic's powers? Yeah. Leicester City. <laughs> before. Leicester City won before the league. Before he came to us. Because they had a magic basketball yep. and they exactly. took Mitrovic's powers. Yep. You heard it here first and almost certainly Remember about Mankiel? Gives a new meaning to the word tinker man, doesn't it? It does. Oh. Right. <laughs> Terrible. This is the last one, I think. <laughs> <laughs> we no, uh, actually have something to talk about. Yeah, we're saying week. that every week. 
Uh, what um, else we're talking about today? Then? Just think when the football starts. Sky like, Sports is new pundit. Oh my god! Yes, oh. in huge news, dear viewer, reader, listener. Just the one of you. Just the one of you. By oh. now, probably. Uh, and assorted guests. And, uh, Sky Sports have finally bounced back from being forced to let Niall Quinn leave their front row of punditry and what have replaced shame. him. They have replaced him with the vagina's friend, Alan Pardew. Gentlemen, how excited are you now for the Premier League season? Imagine the day when it's him and Redknapp having, <laughs> oh a, God. having a bloody waistcoat. Just having a can it be my waistcoat's better? No, no. <laughs> can, it be, can it be Redknapp? He's you think he'll still do pundits now he's a manager? Oh, I imagine he punditry? will. It's no, man, Jamie. Gosh, yeah. Oh, Jamie, Not right. I was going to say Harry Redknapp doesn't even wear. Jeez, Jeez. can you imagine going out with Jamie Redknapp and Alan Pardew? Well, he's on the market now, isn't he? Who? Well, Jamie Redknapp, Redknapp he is, aye. Is he divorced from Louise? Oh, he's, he's splitting up, aye. Oh, yeah. It's turned into fucking heat, this oh, heat near, magazine. <laughs> no wonder they've got Pardew on the front of Sky But Jamie Redknapp's obviously... On the rebound, when Gannon out with all his reliable men, him, Sooness, Richard Keyes, Alan Pardew, just bothering women on the street. No, so Sooness is meant to be a bit of a one, isn't he? A bit of one of them. A bit of a wrong Well, he was one of the ones implicated in that. Uh, Whoa. When they, when they left the cameras on, and he was like showing, was he showing Jamie Redden uh, that before? Oh, like, yes. Oh, what'd you, what'd you yes. think of here? What'd you think would of here? Would you smash it? Would you and then Keyes like, oh, did you? Yeah. And then yeah, Richard Keyes. Go around any night of the week and see Redden hanging out the back of her. Even oh. though... Keys wasn't really invited to that conversation, was he? No, he wasn't. He just sort of booled in, ruined his career. Gets I paid, don't know. Like he's much Dubai more now. <laughs> he's, uh, <laughs> Fell be, upwards there, didn't he? I wouldn't mind being a... Uh, what's the currency at Dubai? Uh, it is... I know this because my sister lives there. Is it Rand? Or is that India? It's... Begins with a D. Dand? Dand. Dand. Wouldn't mind being a book behind him. What's wrong with Literally. the pound coin, I tell you? Sterling. What's wrong with that? What'd you be, the new pound coins? We've got loads to talk about today. The square one. They don't fit in shopping trolleys. I can't remember what it is. How many new Doom pound head. coins can Mitrovic fit in his mouth? There is a question. 15. More. Higher. More. Higher. Surely more. Higher. How are we going to prove it? We'll get them on next week. Should I, should I get a pound coin out of How long have we got? You're not putting anything here? in my mouth. We've got, not again. We've got seven minutes. <laughs> not after last time. Here is a pound coin, a new one. Put it in your mouth. See how many you could put in. Don't worry, it, because it's health and safety. <laughs> it didn't touch anything. 18. What? No. I'm have to do it now. I've got, oh, a, I got one. I've got a little mouth. What do you say? He didn't put it in his mouth. Well, no, you hold it in the mouth, don't you? You actually touch the sides. <laughs> Please buy a striker. Please buy a striker. Just give us something Look to talk what about. You're Look what you're doing to the discussion around NUFC fans groups. Buy a striker. <laughs> We've got six, sure, was six something else. minutes to kill, haven't we? Something else, haven't we? Nothing else has happened. Should we talk? Oh, Louise Taylor's... Uh, remember Louise Taylor, everybody's favourite regional that correspondent? That bloody woman. That bloody woman, as she's known. Her predictions for the season. Oh, let's talk in. about that. That was. Did you read them? I don't mean hers, but yeah. Oh, was it her that wrote that one that said... The Guardian. Guardian. Why, why yeah. is she known as that bloody woman? Because she's a, a track record of saying things that are, strictly speaking, accurate or fair or not <laughs> at all ridiculous is not what you'd call spotless. Uh... Instead of talking about the teams... The it isn't because she's a woman, incidentally, before anybody gets upset. Nobody thought that. Nobody said that. But it's 2017, you have to say these things. Instead of talking about the team and all this, she's come up with a load of absolutely hysterical commentary about the politics behind the scenes, of which she can be no more better informed than the rest of us. And talked about how, oh, it's this... It's hilarious, this, because it's all like, oh, this, it's all bad news, fire from the skies, it's all going to go to shit. Louise's prediction, he cast United 13th. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's ridiculous. Uh, it was actually the Times when I was talking about where it said the Geordie nation expects the earth. Two things wrong with that. We fucking don't. Geordie nation. Oh, it doesn't, Geordie doesn't nation. Know. Two Army bothers me now. That's me. Just this awful. I mean, who, who do you know from around here refers to us as that? Just when we sing it. Two Army! Like that. I've not heard that for years. I sit in corporate, I don't hear anything. Yeah. Just shh. I think in corporate. I like to. Tell everybody that every week. Uh, yes, yes, and then and then there's. Uh, there's uh, Greg's in the corporate. <laughs> We've got Simon about a foot closer <laughs> to the camera than us. He looks I'm about twice the size. <laughs> it's like in the hobby. You shouldn't see your face this time. Yeah, it's, it's like so the, the hobby. Greg's in the corporate. No shame. 
Why you isn't get... that Greg's at St. James's Park? That's a point. It's not even one near, really, is the one right, Because you have that bar that charges you no, there is one. £17 for a meal deal of two WKDs and a pie and a you pay chocolate bar. You pay. I've got a great... What fo- sort of fucking meal deal is that? <laughs> it says meal... I think it's a to- it's tongue-in-cheek, but it does say meal deal. All oh, right. Mm. I've got a great photo of him with a blue wicked mind from the weekend. Oh, we'll flash that up at the end. I wasn't invited, everyone. You're always invited, Simon. You've just got a child. You only, know, you only decide to come in. Work two days, so I know. no one knows where uh, you're I'm shitting away in your watch. I'm coming in tomorrow as so. well. That's twice you've said that. Was that Good last week now? I like it. It was, it was wrestling. It's from, it's from your boy. Yeah. Oh, I, another I was hoping someone wouldn't point that out. Someone would. You wouldn't just quoted him. Ah, they don't know that, though. Uh, football fans. Actually, there's quite a few. You've got to, you've got to provide few. analysis and knowledge. Spurs, we're going to win or what? We're going to win? Good. 1-0. One 1-0. Nil. One nil. I think we might sneak it. Sorry, I've just jinxed it. We'll be top of the league September the 14th. <coughs> wow. that's. And then whoever we'll play next will lose, and then we'll get relegated. Do you think we'll be top of the league September the 14th? I'm trying to work out whether that's not two games. I've just named a date. I think that's two <laughs> games. <laughs> The question, more the question still stands. I don't even know what, what the month. date is. The day. What do you think we'll be? Oh, you said September. I think you yeah. said, oh, said August. Think. Top of the league, September 30th. We haven't even played a game by then. That's tomorrow, isn't it? Um, no. It's the 8th today. We're not going to be top. Yeah, but it's August, not September. Aye, but I just fucking said. Where will we be? Shambles. Yes. I think, what, at the end of the season? No, the cold blight first couple of weeks. Um, I think oh. we'll probably be 9th. Whoa! After the first four games, let's say, not including the League Cup. Look, Ross, it's a deluded Jordy. <laughs> I, I once got interviewed on Sky Sports, right? No, oh, I bet you did. And uh, I did another one of their Mankio predictions. I said the season where we came fifth. I said would come fifth. Every, oh, I swear, it, I swear to God, it's, it's on Sky Sports News. Go on, go on, then you'll have no trouble finding it. I won't. So, what was the question posed to you? Uh, where do you think we'll come this season? But it was already. And you went fifth. No, as I'd said before that it was fifth. And uh, I, the, I used to win the back page. They came in the back page. You're backtracking slightly, all right? Yeah. No, I did. I did. Oh, I, did. I, did. I did see it. I did. I it was one of the uh, local uh, chaps. I know, we don't, I know we don't bring him up very often, but can I just recall, remember when uh, the first game of the season two years ago where uh, our good friend Michael Potts went to oh, Leicester God. away on the, on the opening day <laughs> and Leicester fan TV interviewed him outside about his predictions. and said, oh, we'll be top half. But I think yous are going down. Leicester won the league. Leicester was that that league? Leicester won the league. <laughs> Speaking of them, it's a nice Mike, lad, nice lad. That away kit's Michael. funny, isn't it? Why is, we've got a minute, ooh, a minute and a half left. Why is it funny? same as ours, isn't it? Pretty much. That pastel blue. No, it's a light. Oh, no, it is the same, isn't it? I just like how they use a photo of York train That's station. what I was getting That's at. That's what it was. That was, was funny, And the, the tagline was like, our history, something or other. But that blue kit, because I've got a few Mac and Pals at home, that blue kit was worn the season when they first broke the lowest record points thing. So that's quite a Jesus. quite a bit of history yes, to uh, bring back. Well, I don't yeah. like that. I don't like the blue. But we I don't are. like our blue, don't like I don't our blue like one now. Like that third one's absolutely. What would you What would you say, Ross? Rascal. <laughs> There's no rascal sashes on that. No, it's just, it's oh, just it's rascal no sweet. rascal's bad, isn't it? Rascal's no, a rascal good. sash. It's not it's a rascal a, sash. You've got rascal stripes. Rascal to me is barely visible. It's quirky. Oh well, we've made it to 29 minutes and 10 seconds. Rascal flat against all the odds. The black one is lovely. I'm going to get it. Oh yeah. Yeah. Slimming, probably a freebie. You're gonna get the, the 90 quid one. Yeah. Took oh, every, I, yeah, took everything I look, in. I look really you're gonna good. Get an aspir- you're gonna get an aspirational one that's just a size too small. No, oh. so you're gonna get one that's gonna be baggy in a couple of months. Probably, yeah. Uh, See, you gotta think, you notice you gotta, you gotta think these things. Go on, flex for the camera before we I, go. Can't, I can't. I went to the 25 gym seconds left, right? Uh, we've got a little list coming this week. Probably haven't got time. Ever. No, you have to enjoy not. the last that, one and share it with all your pals forever. One list and done. Bye. Thank you very much. Uh, like, share, <laughs> subscribe at Cy Gallagher, at RW Tweddle, at Adam Cleary. We'll see, you after, oh, we'll see you after the Spurs game where hopefully we're not in loads of tears. Bye, 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 bye.